Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss date and time functions in PHP. Let's understand step by step date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set function is used to get the date and time relative to the local time zone or local date and time. To get the date and time relative to the local time zone or local date and time, we use date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set function. To this function, we need to pass time zone name in the form of string. If you want to get the list of time zone names by country, visit to https colon double forward slash time zone db dot com forward slash time dash zones. As I am located in India, the time zone name for India is Asia forward slash Kolkata. I am going to copy this code from here. Control C to copy. I go to WAMP server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see the default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code. Question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here, I am going to paste that code. Once we set the time zone, next we call the date function. Date function returns the date and time according to the given string format. This string format is a sequence of string formatting characters enclosed in pair of double quotations. Let's understand each of the string formatting characters step by step and then we display the date guys. Lowercase d returns the day of the month in the numeric representation. Let's see that I go back here, I say echo, I call the date function. In double quotations, I give lowercase d. We should get here 21 because you can see that in my system, the date is set to 21. I say file, save, go to browser. Here I say localhost forward slash default.php, hit enter. You see that default.php file is executed, we got the output 21. I go back, I say here echo, I use the br tag to push the next content to the next line. Next, capital D or the uppercase D returns day of the week in short textual representation. It returns day of the week in short textual representation. MON stands for Monday, SUN stands for Sunday, THU stands for Thursday. I go back here, I am going to copy this code and paste down, here I say capital D. We should get here THU because today is Thursday guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got Thursday. Next we have lowercase l character. It returns day of the week in the long textual representation. It displays Monday, Sunday, Thursday. Ok, I go back here, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I write lowercase l character, we should get Thursday. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got Thursday. Next, small letter m or lowercase m returns month of the year in the numeric representation. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say M and if you see the month is 11 guys, November month, so definitely we should get 11. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got 11. Next we have capital M, it returns month of the year in a short textual representation. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say capital M, we should get here NOV, that's November file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got NOV. Next we have capital F. Capital F returns month of the year in the long textual representation. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say capital F, we should get November. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see we got November. Next we have capital Y. Capital Y returns the year in four digits format. I go back, I am going to copy these two lines of codes 
and paste down. Here I say capital Y. We should get 2019. I say file, save, good browser and refresh. You see we got 2019. Next we have lowercase y. It returns the year in two digits format. I go back. I'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say small y. We should get 19. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 19. Next we have small letter h returns the hours in 12 hours format. I go back. I'm going to copy these two lines of course and paste down. Here I say small letter h. At present the time is 7. So I just say here 7. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 7. Next we have capital H returns hours in 24 hours format. I go back. I'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say capital H. 12 plus 7 is 19. So we should get 19 here. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 19. Next we have small letter I which returns minutes guys. I go back. I'm going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say I. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 57 minutes. 57. So that's what we have here. Time is 757. Next we have small letter S returns seconds guys. I copy these two lines of course and paste down. Here I say S, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 39. So 39 seconds. Of course it is going to change in the next refresh. Next we have lowercase a returns am or pm. I go back. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say lowercase a it returns am or pm. So at present pm I say file save go to browser and refresh. You see we got pm. I go back. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. If I give capital A, we get AM or PM in uppercase. So we get PM file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got PM in uppercase. Let's display the complete date. Okay. So what I do here, I say echo. I say date, bracket, bracket, semicolon. In double quotations, we are going to give a string format. I want to display 21 date. So I need to write lowercase d. I write here lowercase d. Next, I want to use the delimiter forward slash. So I write the forward slash. Next, I want to display the month in the numeric format. So I write here small m forward slash. Next, I want to display the year in the four digit format. So I write here capital Y. And then I want to give a space. Next, I want to display hours in the 12 hours format. So I write here small h. And then I say colon symbol I want. Next, I want to display minutes. I write here I. Next, I want to display seconds. I say yes. Next, I want to display AM or PM in uppercase. So, I write here capital A. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see, we got 21-11-2019 space 7-59-49 PM. So, that is how you can display the complete date and time. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. I copy these two lines of course and paste down. If you want to display only date, just write d forward slash m forward slash y. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see only date is displayed. If you want to display only time, then what you have to do guys? Copy this code and paste down. Remove the string formatting characters related to date. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see only time is displayed. If you want to have some other delimiter, you can write here guys. For example, I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. I want to use dash as the separator here. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see we got 21-11-2019. Next we are going to understand the time function. Time function returns the time in seconds since January 1st 1970. It returns time in seconds guys. 
since January 1st, 1970. I go back here. I say echo. I call the time function semicolon. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that these many seconds are elapsed from January 1st, 1970. I can create a date using this seconds guys. How do we create means? We give a string format and then we call the time function. We use the same date function. I go back here. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down here. We use comma and then we call the time function. I copy this and paste down. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we are getting the same date and time here. Next we understand how do we get the previous or next date. I go back here. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. So this is returning the current date. If I want to get the tomorrow's date, what I do is I write plus tomorrow means I have to add one. Each day contains 24 hours. So multiplied by 24. Each hour contains 60 minutes multiplied by each minute contains 60 seconds. So 1 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 gives me the next date. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You should see 22-11-2019. Like that you can get the next days. If you want to get the previous days, you just need to write here minus. So I am going one day back. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 2011, 2019. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we work with date and time functions in PHP. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try this code yourself. Experiment with more examples. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about PHP. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.